Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And over the last couple of days, I've made this pattern and I just made it a little different. Put a black background, because if you like printing on a blue shirt. Before I start, we've made this one and just this morning I made this one and somebody from Facebook uh, made it a little bit different. Put layers and just to show you what you could do, you could get the spiral tool or the twirl tool, make it about the size of your item get about right in the middle and then twirl it. Now, if you can't click on it, you've got to click off of it because that's center. And look at the difference now. Uh, some of the lines are thicker and kind of got a twist to them. So there's another option. But this one here is particularly cool, I think. And it's just doing it the same way, but doing it backwards on one of them. So we're going to make one real quick. So hold down your control button and get a perfect circle. I'm going to make it 15 inches. I've got my ratio locked. I'm going to go ahead and hit P, which doesn't really matter. I've got my nudge factor set on a half an inch. I'm going to hit the plus sign on the keyboard, and I'm going to nudge that down. So this is just like we did in previous videos. I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool and fill in that. Now, I'm going to get rid of the outline right now, so I'm going to... Click up here and, and right click no outline. But I still want my indexing lines, especially the one in the center. And I'm going to rotate this guy about, well, I'll tell you what, before I do that, to make this first one, I'm going to reverse it. And then I'm going to move my rotation down pretty far, but I'm still in the center. Now open up your Windows, Dockers, Transform or Transformation, Rotation. We're going to go 10 degrees for 35 times. So that doesn't really look good. So let's go 5 degrees for 71 times. Because you really need 72, but you've already got one. So that's pretty cool in itself already. Let's go ahead and group this together. Control G and hit P. Put it in the center of the page, even though it's much larger than page itself. And then we're going to do another one just like it. Hold down the control button, make it a 15 inch circle. But this time we're gonna do it like we have in the past videos. Let me zoom in here. So we're gonna hit the plus sign, plus key on our keyboard and zoom, uh, nudge down. We're gonna take our uh, smart fill tool. I'm gonna select everything and I'm gonna left click, no outline. Now, I can, because this is grouped, move this out of the way. And then I can put this with P, put it in the center of the page. Because I want it to be centered and all set. So I'm going to go right here. I'm going to put it pretty far. I'm going to go like right to there. This time we're going to do the 10 degrees at 35 times. You need 36, but we've already got one. Now I'm going to group this together, control G. And what I'm going to do is put this one back in the center. And I'm going to figure out how this isn't really that big a deal, but take the Smart Fill tool, fill that in. And then this way you can figure out how big that circle is. So that circle is 23.128. So we're going to go 23.128, I believe it was. And then we're going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. Now you've got lines coming up, so you need to kind of check it. We're not quite there. So select it, hold down your shift key, and just grow it a little bit. Holding down your shift key will make it grow from the outside. Now you've got a solid color. Now all I, all I did different on that one, let's make this a little bit smaller. And you could start off with a smaller circle. It doesn't really matter. The size doesn't really matter. And when I moved it, I can see I've still got some lines there. So before I do anything else, I'm going to try to get those those circles right there away. So I need to go, I'll tell you what, I need to move it all the way out of the way so we can regroup it. I thought I'd eliminated them. Go up to object, group, and ungroup, and then click right there and hit delete. Click right there and hit delete. Now you don't have anything. You need to group this back together, control G, and then you can hit P on the center of the page and hit P, put it in the center of the page. Now don't worry about that it's black. Go to object and order or 
group, I mean group it together or control G. Now let's get out the interactive fill tool and let's go from about right there to right there. And now we can add some colors. We'll put yellow on the bottom. We'll put red on top. That looks pretty cool. Now take that and let's put a let's put a blue, like if you're gonna print this on a blue shirt this time. I'm gonna hit P, put it in the center of the page. And let's say you're gonna put it on that blue shirt. Effects, or excuse me, object, order, back of page. That's a pretty interesting design. Anyway, my power just went off. We're having bad weather in Central Texas. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.